My husband and I have been building our own home now for just over four years. With our endless to-do list and everything being a priority, the indoor showers somehow made it to the end of that list. When we first came out here, we showered at the gym. Then we used a solar shower bag. And more recently, we've been using our own luxurious outdoor shower. This will be a big moment for us because if everything goes right, this will be our first shower in our home after four years. Oh my god, this is so scary. Oh, darling. I know, it's like... Baby, that, it's going to just dance around. It, it'll eventually catch, it's just you got to try to keep it in the right spot. You thirsty? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they use a it's very, really dipping. Like this is an eight foot pole, so they cannot not support it properly right right dude what the hell <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> what do you think is it enough space for you because i know you have really wide shoulders oh my god yeah it's fine it's fine yeah i know it works Baby, I want some enthusiasm. I'm not an enthusiastic person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is more than enough room. I was really worried that it was going to feel very tight in here. And it probably is a little bit thinner than your standard shower, right? Yeah. But it's perfect. <laughs> For being such a small bathroom, I mean, this is a very nice big shower. Yeah, and you got plenty of room to long wise. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> we can really stretch out this way. <laughs> no, I love it. So what do you think of the shower curtain? The curtain looks good. The rod drives me insane. I know. If you can see, the there's a kink. The reason why is because this rod was shipped to us and uh, it was a cut to size type thing, but the, it was in two separate pieces. So a four foot piece and a four foot piece. So technically this is supposed to span eight foot long. I don't know how they expect that to happen. One of the four foot pieces would cut pretty much in half. So it's only spanning uh, 75 inches, whatever that is. I right. Can you imagine if you did actually go the full, the eight, full feet? eight feet? It would be literally like that. It's just a, a a coupler, a PVC coupler in between the two rods. So it's just very frustrating because it's not strong enough. Right. So I'm gonna have to come up with a solution. Yeah, because being that this is a longer than average shower, you know, we couldn't do the little normal twisty curtain rods and we don't really like those anyway because I don't know about you, but they constantly will fall for me. <laughs> So we wanted to go with this, the kind that you actually screw in and we thought it looked really nice and you know, of course, something's wrong with it. <laughs> yeah. But I will say, I really like the way the curtain looks. I was a little skeptical because obviously we went with white and there's just a lot of white in here, but I think that it is perfect for this room because it's so small that I think having a very large, darker wall would just, it wouldn't look as good, in my opinion. So I'm very happy with it. And I can't wait, we're gonna get to shower you tonight. Mm -hmm. The curtain might collapse on itself in the middle, you know, but oh no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It'll be fine. And if there's one thing I know, is that this is a very small problem, and I know that you will figure it out. And it's gonna look great. All right, well, I'm not very happy with the amount of sag uh, out of the shower curtain rod. So 
what we'll be doing is taking it down and uh, kind of coming up with a fix. And that fix is steel reinforced epoxy, also known as JB Weld. <laughs> yeah, there's just this little PVC plastic coupler in between the two rods and that's where we're getting all the flex from. So uh, I'm just going to apply a little bit of uh, JB Weld inside of each end of the tube where they connect and then slide the uh, coupler back in place. And once it cures, it should be uh, plenty strong. how well this is going to work it does have a like a 5,000 pound per square inch hold capacity so this pretty much should be like a solid bar afterwards but uh, I don't know <laughs> see any on the outside so that's good set this somewhere where it won't be messed with and we'll come back to it later tonight So much better and we moved the connection point over to this left side which the curtain obviously is going to sit more on the right whenever it's open so i don't think it'll be an issue anymore oh my gosh look at this place right. it's looking so cute you may notice that our shower curtain doesn't go the full width and uh, that's because it's actually quite difficult to find one that not only is wider but taller and in a style that you are happy with. So we did find one that was taller that met our demands because our shower curtain had to be mounted above the window. We needed wider because our bathroom is slightly wider than a, the average bathroom. 72 inches is roughly the average for a bathroom stall or a tub stall or a shower stall. So yeah, finding one that was not only wider but taller was difficult and we had two options either go with one or the other or source out a custom shower curtain we just went with one that was the width of the standard sh shower stall so that's what you're seeing right here but it was tall enough so we could still use it because that was ultimately the most crucial because water's obviously not going to go all the way out here this uh this works out for now and Maybe in the future we'll find a custom one or we'll just have this for the next 30 years. <laughs> I think it looks so good. Yeah, it does. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we can finally use it tonight? Mm hmm Oh my gosh. About time. Right. <laughs> Each day I'm like, okay, today's the day. And then something else goes wrong. <laughs> tonight should be the night. <laughs> it, is, it is cloudy, so... 
Oh my gosh. Or power. <laughs> <laughs> power might be an issue, but. It'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I cannot believe how good it looks. I mean, you have to understand, when we started this, I think we had very low expectations mm -hmm. for a lot of things, since we had never done this before. Right, and we thought we were gonna have to use like RV uh, style uh, sinks. And yeah, we thought everything in the bathrooms was going to have to be tiny, mm -hmm. but I think having those low expectations was probably the best thing that we could have done. Right. Because now we're just, thrilled with everything. <laughs> Not only because they exceed our expectation, but also uh, I mean, we haven't had an indoor shower since we've been here. Right, going without things for years, your appreciation for them, definitely gross. could open this window so I could like hear the coyotes. We oh, yeah, the one window we didn't make. I know. Should have just made it floor ceiling. Window? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe that this time has finally come. The moment that we have been working towards for years. I'm about to get my first shower in our new home that we've built together. I cannot believe I'm saying that. So now that the bathroom is all complete, what we're gonna do is kind of switch gears a little bit and uh, instead of starting on the other bathroom, the kids' bathroom, we're gonna start here in the kitchen uh, just to kind of give it a change of pace. And also I feel like this should go pretty quickly. It's just a bunch of mosaic tile. So let's get started on that. Thank you. 